It's Kanan, and welcome back to Kanan's Nights of Horrors. And for tonight's game, we are playing a little game called Simula Crumb Chapter 1. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this game is fairly new, though I believe Chapter 2 is out as well. Um, it's another one of those games kind of like Alyssa and Heartworm, where it, pl it plays like a more classic uh, survival horror game. Uh, though, from the way the graphics look in this one, it is way more advanced. Um, so I'm actually looking very uh, uh, forward to playing this. The title screen here kind of gives me Silent Hill vibes. This it, this looks like something you'd see out of Silent Hill. Also, the game warned me that uh, this game involves riddles and that I should take notes. So I've got paper and pencil here with me So because I am awful at riddles. So, sit back. I don't know how long I'm going to play this, but hopefully I beat it and I can play Chapter 2 for you very soon. So, relax, grab you a snack, and let's get to this new game. Riddle difficulty. Uh, I'm awful with riddles, like I said, so we're going with normal. Doom. Oh, that kind of reminds me of the the symbol that you save your game in Silent Hill. I gotta fix There's that. nothing but a dark I want you to do. disaster. I, I want you to do anyway. Yeah, I so we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers. I like endings. So I wish I could destroy what I made up. There's one thing you can't be. That's She's got a lot of voices in her head. So, where did I come from? Ooh, this looks nice. Go? Looks better in person. Or like in motion. Besides screenshots. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be a good game. Did you just wake up? Dog oh, kitty. You guys might not be able to see because I might be covering it. But is that a promotional poster for something else? Looks like something the developer might be working on as well. Oh, well, this, this, oh my gosh, th this looks amazing. Okay, so, can move around. M is map. I is inventory. Okay. Well, let's look around the room here for a sec. My reading motivation curve is weird. I can hardly bring myself to read a book, but when I do, I devour it in about half devour it in about half no time. Huh. Okay. Behold a great violent dragon with one head and two horns and on his head five spiky scales like a, as cool as heck. She must be talking about the video games you're playing. Right. You deserve another sequel. <laughs> For all those times my gamepad has met this thing I'm shocked it still works. <laughs> that's That's relatable is it not? It's not very smart to drown your worries in sound waves. I'm probably going to be deaf before I'm 50, thanks to that thing, that ringing in my ears. Ooh, you've just been you been listening to it too loud. Sorry, no lying in there. <laughs> I get that reference. That's a Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe uh, reference. Anything here? No. What about this paint? One of my first attempts with aquarelli or watercolors, as the lame kids say. Well, I guess I'm a lame kid because I had no idea what that was. Let's go feed the kitty. Ooh. This is nice. Do what thou wilt, but what is my true will? Ooh. Can we play guitar? I got this song stuck in my head, one I've been working on for the last few days. If only I knew someone who plays the cello or some piano, I can almost hear what it would sound like. Oh, so she's a musician as well. So she's an artist, I'm guessing, a gamer, a bookworm, and a musician. 
the character for some story wrong is that whoever you invent, they're always a part of your own person. Ooh. The further you write, the more you unveil truths about your most inner self unbeknownst to you. That's true, actually. Um, up to that very point, we're tracking down things will never be the same, and neither will you. Yeah, super deep. Super deep. Yeah, that was that was a lot just for a, looking at a picture. Once we pass, we try to run Hmm. She's got an alright looking place. Okay, where's the kitty? Someone's been drinking. <laughs> A lot of Chinese food. Thusly, the indulgence in the cuisine of such restaurants is fine as culinary delight as the Nippon Nippon right around the corner. Also, I'm a lazy cook. <laughs> I think that's almost all of us. Okay, so the cat is not in the kitchen. Where are you at, kitty? Ah, there, the kitty. Let Strolly go outside. I, I guess. I mean. Hey, Strolly. Huh, I was right. You want to get out? Huh? My, my doorknob's gone. What the? What the hell, indeed? Oh man, things have went to hell in a handbasket really, really quick. Place is haunted. What the? How the heck did this get here? Is someone here with me? Yes, but I don't think they're alive, and I don't think you can see them. It's a ghost. Uh, is this going to be some mirror world? There's a map, so I bet you anything. Huh? Oh yeah, we're going full Silent Hill here. Nice transition. Andrew Carr. Christopher A. Summer. Oh boy. Huh? With Olivia Steele. This must be. Yep, that's Abigail. Okay. So that's our voice actress for our main character. Yeah, this is definitely based off Silent Hill. It, it just screams Silent Hill. Oh boy. I got a flashlight. Oh, no. There's a handwritten letter here. Is it addressed to me? Oh, that's a long one. My dearest Abigail, the time we have spent apart is a gap of unforgivable size. It is a hole filled with longing and desire. I stare at it now, knowing that its vastness is shrinking for every word you read. But it remains great, and thus my being still aches for you. Sometimes I think to jump and let myself be taken by the shadows below. Perhaps it will bring me to you, though I worry it will only separate us further. But I know that in due time we will be reunited. I want to have I want you to have something. Take my light. It will guide you through the blackest times and lead you back to me. Though should you wish to hide in the shadows, and there is no shame in that, for darkness can protect you from those that would wish you harm, just remember my light will always be waiting for your return. So it's pretty much telling me that, um, stay in the dark if there's enemies or something, I'm guessing. Jennifer. So who's Jennifer? A sister? A cousin? Um, I'm guessing it's not her mom, because she would have said just mom. Uh, just a really good friend? A girlfriend? Like, what are, what are we going for here? I got a map. Okay. Oh. Not your hump. So it says not your home. Okay, so this place is pretty uh, vast a little bit. So I don't have a weapon either. Boo! Who are you? Uh, excuse me. Uh, 
Excuse me. I'm I'm kind of lost. Lost. Do you know how I got here? And what even is this place? Where are you? Stranger danger, no. Don't follow him. And where do I go? So you're... So you told him you were... It's a clock. There are Roman numerals on the face. Tasteful. Can't get the window open, though. It's shut tight. Hmm. Okay. So I am loving this game already. Okay, so let's look at our map, get a bearing for where we're at. Yeah, this this person base bases uh, base off around Silent Hill. It even marks the places on the map uh, like Silent Hill. Well, we might as well get to exploring, guys. Been in that door. That's where we started. Oh boy, uh, another clock? Oh, she, said, she said the same thing I did. This one has the zodiac instead of numbers. Used to be into that stuff. Me? Scorpio? No wonder I've lost faith in it. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm a Scorpio. Can't get the whipple window open. It's shut tight. Oh, let's, it's a book on the zodiac. I really hope I'm not supposed to remember all this. What's the boar? There's the ram, Pisces, Scorpio, the scorpion. Okay. Is there a reason why I'm going to have to know the zodiac signs? See some really big cogs through there. Am I even supposed to go down here right now? Okay, it's just going down and down. But I'm curious to where it goes. Oh, I found the bottom. What is... I got a screwdriver. Oh, the the view changed. I thought something was going to get me. Nothing there. Let's look at our map. Let's see where this exactly took me. Okay. No help there, really. Ooh. This is not good looking. What is that? It's a framed portrait of me? Who the heck paid me sleeping? At least I hope I'm sleeping. I feel warm, like I'm safe, protected. Weird. Oh, okay. So that's how you save. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Sweet. Oh, oh boy, those discarded. Save them. Ugh. Well, this does not look good. Personally, that's not the treatment I would favor for my own remains. Huh. It's a book on ritual killings. Oh, great. Though not confined to the ancient Celts, Irish bog bodies sometimes indicate ritual killings. One of the corpses was bound and restrained, but more importantly also cut in half with one huge cut across the body. Ugh. Another one was struck once across the body with an axe and disemboweled. Yummy. Both these men were failed kings or failed candidates for kingship, but our lord sacrificed himself in such a way for our own salvation and not to fail as king, but to reign above all. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to read everything just in case it's like a clue. I got a bronze seed. Okay. It's too dark to see anything. Okay. I thought an eyeball was gonna show up or something. Alright, so... I know where a save thing is now, so... Let's, uh, get out of here. Up the stairs, up and down 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 the stairs. Sorry. Hustle. Hustle through it. Well, that was a nice little bit of investigation, wasn't it? Um, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going this way. I'm gonna wait on that one. Something tells me to what? Fuck is broken. I can't get in. Okay, I wonder if it... Will it mark locked doors? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. Just like Silent Hill. What's this book say? These sacred paintings we draw with sinners, oil, serve... As a pathway into the holy mind of God. For his sleeping consciousness is the father of many sibling worlds, which we can divine, alter, and enter through paint. Each color pigment's shade represents and controls the frequency of his divine light. The most excellent primer for manifesting is black. Okay, I have a feeling black is all caps for a reason, reason so... I'm going to write black. If this color is void before and beyond life. It is death, the canvas of creation, a holy color, and we must seek permission from God to use it to create. On top of the moral primer, the greatest color of power and life is red, so I'm going to write red as second. It is the color of the act through which we funnel his divine light. Inside us and birth, his children, the perfect medium for such pain is blood. The raging force that flows from our heart, which beats in fury until it rests in him. The color of emotional outburst, ideal to break through the fabric of the plains. Some colors should be avoided or at least be used with care, not necessarily because of their corresponding emotions, but because of other devious associations. Green. Green is deemed the color of paradise among some eastern heretics, though not among us. Here in the West, both envy and money has claimed this color also, an idolatrous symbol of empty value and those unworthy of worship, for the only value is your worth to... God marked out our angel, and he is all that should and must be worshipped, for he is a lord not envious, but jealous nonetheless. Hmm. It being marked out, I wonder if someone, cha someone is changing the beliefs here. We abstain from blue. Blue. Since it is a color of sadness and melancholy, we seek emotions that tether us to the upper realm. How fitting, as it has also been the traditional color of the weaker sex. Hmm. Inter interesting thing here. Okay. Stemming from a tradition as ludicrous as it is dangerous, namely that a virgin had birthed a false god. Without the angelic intercourse which should have taken place, we would not want to relate our sacred paintings to such misguided traditions. Okay, very, very interest. My feelings, sex, and color make me weak. Maybe I am. Hmm. 
This lock is broken. Can't. Okay. Very um, interesting religious beliefs there. This is looking more and more like Silent Hill as I go because Silent Hill had a very religious undertone and all that because of uh, the cult and all that was that was in Silent Hill. Oh, this room's got music, so I'm guessing this is... Oh, this looks like a puzzle room. And there's a save picture. Box of matches. The, relig the religions of ancient times commonly included fertility cult rituals. Angel worship and priestesses who served as the wife of the god. Uh, temple prostitutes. Okay. Of re uh, okay. Th this is getting really out there. They have turned away from the lives of the very religious continuum, trading the further rights. Yeah, we are getting into some some sort of missionary leaflet. Well, temple prostitution is not my cup of tea. Thanks. What's this? The season's keys are stolen. Spring was taken by angels. Summer was engulfed by darkness. Autumn is claimed by time. Winter follows the holy assumption. S okay. There are four colors. Four... Spring taken by the angels, so would that be red? Summer was engulfed by darkness, black. Autumn is claimed by time. Green, I guess. Winter follows the holy assumption. Blue? Okay. And what's these thingies? There's a keyhole here. It's surrounded by red jewels. Oh, I wonder if uh, it's... Uh, I wonder if that's it. I wonder if it's something else. I'll have to check that out here in a sec. Let's save. Yep, this is definitely a Silent Hill inspired. Okay, so, yeah, that is a big puzzle room, and I need keys. I don't know if, uh, um, the seed, one of the seeds that I have is a key or not, so let's just keep looking around and see what else we find. So far, no enemies. It won't budge. Is that a clock on the door? No numbers or needle, though. What's that? Oh. That looks very, very... What is that? There's writing here. Do not trust the light. It is a lie. The only truth is darkness. I wonder then. Hmm. I don't think you can just walk off there, but who, who knows? I'm wondering about that. What's in here? Oh, this looks like a fun room. Any items or anything? Nope. It's a children's book, a collection of fairy tales. Oh boy. Four hungry wolves sit beneath the sun. They wait, guarding the bridge to greener pastures. To their north, mountains loom that impale the sky. To their west, a lake of tainted water stirs. To their east, a forest lies shrouded in perpetual fog. Hunker then approaches. 
but not from the mountains. She offers the first wolf. She sees a, a mind of shining gold. The beast accepts gratuitously and offers her safe passage. Gratuitously. A magpie then flies in, feathers wet, landing by the wolf. It too sees first. He opens his beak to reveal a soul of gleaming silver. The wolf kills him and takes the soul for itself. Then a family of lumberjacks brave the toll. They have only a body of bronze to offer. The wolf opposite to the golden mine takes it and lets them pass. Those three wolves then cross the bridge to happily rich. An orphan approaches the last of the last of wolves, but she has nothing to offer but company, as he is all alone. By now, yielding no to temptation, the wolf reveals to be an angel and takes her up to paradise. No fairy tale I've ever heard of. Oh. There are holes in the soil. It's slightly... Ah, okay. So, this is where... One of the, um... Seeds go. Okay, let me read that one more time. Because I've got the bronze seed. Answers to the north, mountains to the east. <clears throat> Silver. We have only a body of bronze to offer. Okay. The lumberjacks are the one that gave bronze. Where did they come from? I'll have to think about that, but let's just keep on exploring. That's definitely where one of the seeds has got to go. Uh, another book. It's a newspaper article. As to how discovery relates with these, oper these apparitions, it said that everything, both material and immaterial, has the cap capability of making an impression of existence. Explain the different areas on varying potential factors. Fragment of our cells. Hmm. I'm sure there's uh, some themes there. That doesn't look good. Cages being lowered into fire. Impressionism. Creepy. Oop. Golden seed. Okay, so now I've got the golden one. I love how she's really keeping her cool very, very well. Lock is broken, can't get in. Okay, so we've got the bronze and we've got the gold. Where all have we been now? Can't go in that way. Let's go straight ahead. Ugh! It's like the wall is wounded. Can't get through with those bars screwed in so tightly. Maybe I'll find something to take them out. You? Why would you want to go in there? awful. Log is broken. I can't get in. Okay, so I am stuck here. Okay, which room was it that had the seeds in it? Straight ahead of me. Okay, so I've got gold and bronze. to greener pastures to their north mountains north mountains west 
like East Forest. Okay. A hiker then approaches, but not from the mountains. She offers the first wolf she sees a mine of shining gold. The beast accepts gratuitously and offers her safe passage. That doesn't tell me anything. A magpie then flies in, feathers wet, landing by the wolf. It too sees fire hope and speaks for all the soul. Okay, so if the if it was wet, it would have come from the west. So, then a family of lumberjacks brave the toll. They have only a body of bronze to offer. Okay, so if they're lumberjacks, you would think they would be coming from the forest. Because they're lumberjacks. They, they chop wood. So I'm going to assume that bronze is the east. An orphan approaches the last of the wolves, but she has nothing to offer. But company, as he is all alone by now, yielding to temptation, the wolf reveals to be an angel and takes her up to paradise. So, I'm guessing that would be south. So that would be nothing. Hmm. I'm still confused on one thing, though. The hiker comes... But he's not from the mountains. Uh. So I'm just going to guess here. I'm going to say... Mountains is the one that doesn't get nothing. Because it says that the hiker is not from the mountains. Where south is wherever the hiker came from. And that's gold. I, I'm just guesstimating at this. So let's see. Okay, so I'm... Creoles and soil is slightly damp too, so I'm guessing, you know, north, west, east, south. Um, bronze will go in the forest, which will be the east. And then gold. Would be the south. I probably won't find out if I'm wrong or not until I find the others. Or one more at least. It's a mind bender. But then again there could be some people watching this being like, you idiot, it's simple. Okay, so... There's a question mark about the sink. What is this contraption? A sink? I wonder where the drain leads. Well, that doesn't help me. my last save spot it doesn't mark it for me ah yeah it does okay I am going to save and then I'm gonna try something stupid Because this that one riddle makes me think. That says darkness reveals reveals the truth. <sighs> oh 
Okay, so let's go try something stupid. Make sure I'm going in the right room. It's the one up above. I really love this game already. Like, it just... Okay, so yes. It says there's... Do not trust the light is a lie. The only truth is darkness. Holy crap. I was right. And there's the silver seed. Oh, shit. I ran for it because... Oh no, why did I do that? Oh, it's a key. There's a key inside. I can just about put my arm through to reach it. No, I, I, don't, tr I don't trust that. Okay, so my uh, theory paid off. So the silver should go in the west. I've already forgot where it is. <laughs> Okay, that's the door that's right there. Okay. Either I'm not right or... Probably don't have it right. I'm going to save one more time and I'm going to try and reach for that key and see what happens. And then, uh, we'll wrap it up. Whoops, getting my keys mixed up. Hopefully I don't lose my arm. Oh, okay. Dang, I thought something was going to take my arm or... Okay, so I got one of the keys then. So then that means the room that has all the keys... This is the crimson key, so I got to look for one that's crimson. That one's green. That one is blue. That one looks orange, okay. Okay. Okay, well, I'm, I'm guessing that's correct. Save. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm already blown away by this game. I mean, it's obvious that the developer behind this was a huge fan of Silent Hill, because that's what it reminds me of. It's, it, it's almost a carbon copy of uh, Silent Hill. It reminds me a lot of Silent Hill 3. Uh, in a way. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, nothing too creepy is happening yet. It's more of... If, it, if it's going to follow Silent Hill, it's going to be more of an atmospheric and psychological kind of horror game more than just jump scares and all like that. But, um... 
I look forward to playing this again. I'm going to try and figure out that seed puzzle. Um, and uh, I will be picking this up again very, very soon. And I do plan to play Chapter 2. Don't know how many chapters there's going to be. But big shout out to the uh, developer. This was an, this is an amazing experience so far. I'll leave a link in the description if uh, you guys want to try this yourselves. Um, plus check our uh, description for all our other links. And um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. Share it around. And I will see you in the next episode. See ya.